My name's Johnny Pitts, and although I grew up in the UK, I've always been inspired by my father's African-American heritage and the civil rights history in the American South. So I'm on a journey along the civil rights trail to experience firsthand the soul of the South. Today, I'm in Mississippi, starting my journey in the town of Indianola. The B.B. King Museum here in Indianola is a place dedicated to showcasing the blues icon and the musical heritage of the Mississippi Delta. Dr. Alfonso Sanders, retired director of the B.B. King Recording Studio, walks me through this immersive space. Was there a relationship between the blues music and the civil rights movement, would you say? Oh, yeah. Uh, blues was, was a, one of the basic backdrops to civil rights. I mean, B.B. King met with, with some of the great leaders. And so civil rights itself was always an unaligned verse in the music itself. Inside the corridors here, you know, you have so much to see and read and talk about and listen to and to also experience what the Delta itself represents because this is where B.B. grew up. B.B. to us growing up, I mean, he was bigger than life. Local blues legend Mississippi Marshall has been playing for over 50 years, and having performed for the likes of B.B. King himself, Marshall had some stories to share. I had an opportunity um, to play on one of his homecoming shows. I told him, I said, you know, I could do every B.B. King lick you do, but I can't do it like you. And he told me, he said, Marshall, you don't do me, you do you. But long as you're true to you, you'll get the satisfaction out of it as well, you know. It, it was music for the people, wasn't it? Really? Right, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. There you go. They ain't never been this hard. Every day's a struggle, only getting worse on time. In Mississippi, stories of hardship and struggle have historically always been expressed through the music. So I head to the globally renowned Ground Zero Blues Club in Clarksdale to soak up the sound that has come to define this part of the US. What's been interesting is it's become a place that people want to come and experience music in a very authentic environment. The club is just, it's real. It's got its own DNA in it. Nothing about it's fabricated. It's been 21 years and the building is over 100 years old. I mean, it's, it's just, there's a lot of history and story there. The club's not big. We hold about 175 folks comfortably. And it's usually packed every Friday and Saturday night. And if I were to go on stage and ask people, okay, let's get a show of hands who's from Europe, probably 30% of the crowd. We've now built enough of an infrastructure and, and talent here that uh, people can come and enjoy it. Um, but it's also a place people want to come and see and, and really see, okay, where did this all start? Now I'm in the town of Sumner to speak with education director Benjamin Salisbury. We discuss the infamous death of young African-American teenager Emmett Till back in 1955, whose body was found washed up on the banks of the Tallahatchie River. At the time, despite overwhelming evidence, this young boy's assailants were found not guilty. And for many, this event became a turning point in the struggle for civil rights. What we hope people gain from coming into this space in particular and is the ability to find footing uh, in, in history that, that can't be replaced uh, by way of just reading it. Nothing really beats or substitutes actually having an opportunity to spend real time in spaces of historical precedence. It's definitely an experience that uh, I won't forget, so thank you, Benjamin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Mississippi Delta is an atmospheric and truly unforgettable part of the US, thick with history, music and emotion. This is a journey that will stay with me long after I've left. Mm -hmm.